congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, it's a wonderful warmth for this film, but it's also a great message of kind of taking responsibility for your for your own life. Was that something when you read the script that you felt both for your character and for Amelia's character? Yeah, there is about learning how to treat people better. Yeah, exactly, and taking responsibility for your actions, but hopefully not too heavily hammered. But I think overall, it's a a really fun Christmassy uh, Christmassy film. But yeah, there is that as well. But, why do you think uh, Brits are so so good at these kind of rom-coms? Because we have Love Actually, we have so many more, Notting Hill, all this kind of stuff. Why do you think we're, we're kind of have such a kind of niche market on this? I don't know, I think London particularly is good at Christmas, with all the lights. It was wonderful filming around London with all the, you know, the, the huge Christmas trees in Covent Garden and all the lights. So I think that lends itself to, to Christmas quite well. Um, yeah. I can imagine that was very, very late nights getting in, getting to do Regent Street and Covent Garden. I can imagine that wasn't done sort of eight o'clock in the morning, like in, the, in the evening, no. that was done at eight in the morning, kind of, you know, because there's a lot of, yeah. I guess logistically, that must have been quite difficult. Yeah, no, the first day, my first day filming, I turned up at set on, at three in the morning, and then you, sh we sh you, yeah, you shoot, yeah, you shoot, to maximise all the daylight hours until, um, until whenever it was in the evening. Oh, I mean, it's hot. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, it was exhausting. More for Amelia and Henry, I mean, I only had to do a few days like that, but yeah. yeah. I can imagine in terms of creativity, I mean, Emma Thompson and Paul Feig, such masters at their craft, both writing and directing. It must yeah. have been great to, to work with them and see them bring the story to life. Yeah, it was it was a real pleasure. But um, both, I mean, Emma was so welcoming and exactly as you'd imagine her to be. And and Paul, I've just admired for ages. And Bridesmaids, one of my favourite films. So that was. Too. I don't think you're the only one to say that. I think everyone says Bridesmaids whenever they think of Paul Feig. It's Bridesmaids, which is such a kind of raucous kind of kind of comedy. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I mean, it has touched so many people over the over the years. It's only been out a few years. What was it about that movie that you loved so much? Because there's so much to kind of take away oh, from it. Well, I just think all of the actresses in it were brilliant, uh, as was Chris Liddell. And, and oh, it's, it's good. It's got genuine heart without being too kind of chocolate box guy, without being. It's just, it, it's just laugh out loud funny. Yeah. yeah. And for, for audiences course, that are going to go and, of course, yeah, there's so many. Melissa McCarthy is so funny in that movie. Yeah. Uh, what kind of audiences do you think they can expect from this movie when they go and sit down and see it? I think they'll probably get exactly what they expect, which is you know, a huge, big slice of Christmas cheer, and it's just a, a, a wonderful Christmassy film with some fantastic actors and uh, and hopefully some laughs and some feelings too. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 